vaccine from sport and wellbeing. It's time for fitness Pilates today. So what that is, is a sequence of Pilates exercises all put together and in between there's some lovely stretches. So hope you enjoy and if you've got any injuries today or you're not quite feeling right, see what you can do. If there's something that you can do that's a bonus, if not, just have a little look at the video and then come back to it at a later date when you're feeling a little bit better. So we need a big space around you. You need a mat and you just need lots of energy. So that's what we're going to do today. So here we go. So I'm going to start off with a warm up. I'm going to stand on my mat. I'm going to bring those feet underneath your hips. I want you to take a lovely big deep breath in and out. And again, lovely big deep breath in. And out, we've got two more of these. Make sure you bend those knees. You're gonna give me one more. And then you're gonna relax those arms. Shoulder rolls up, shoulder rolls down. Shoulder rolls up, shoulder rolls down. Give me two more. There's lovely shoulder rolls up and down. Give me one more time. Brilliant. Now leave those shoulders down. Bring those arms up. Reach up to the ceiling. Have a little look up there. Pull them back down by your side. Now what I want you to do is I want you to squeeze up through that lovely lower belly. So you get that scooping and hollowing feeling. Two more. And then you're going to give me one more. Brilliant. Come into that centre. You're going to wrap those arms. You're going to open behind you. We're going to wrap those arms forward. I'll go this way and see a little bit better. Into a wrap and open. Two more times then, guys. And one more time. Hold it here. You're going to reach out to this side. Up tall. You're going to reach out to this side. Come up tall. So I want you to go to the side rather than falling forward. Now go a little bit higher, come back in, go a little bit higher, come back in. Give me two more. So we're just making this little warm up nice and flowy. Last one. Gonna go up on those toes and push the ceiling. Give me a lovely half circle round. Up on those toes, push to the ceiling. Lovely half circle round. Two more. Squeeze up tall. Bring those shoulders down away from those ears. Give me one more. Excellent. Now there's a chair. Sit down and stand up. Brilliant. So you did a squat. Now I want you to push your hips backwards. Sit through your heels. And stay lovely and tall when you come up. Squeeze that bottom. Good, two more. And one more. Hold it there, bring those hands. We're coming into our first little standing balance. Take one leg away and hold it there. Breathe in and out, get those shoulders away from you. Ease, get that ribbon chest down. Then you're gonna lift up. Come around. You're going to lift up. Come around. Two more. If you have little problems, you can hold on to the wall. Give me one more. Come into centre. Sit back. And again, sit back. Two more. Now one more and then we're going to stand on through to the other leg. Here we go. Hands by those ears. Really lift up from that waist. Don't sink down into this leg. Hold it there. Push up. Circle. Push up. Circle. You may have one favourite side that's a bit easier to balance on. Work at it. 
So you give me one more. Good work, come into centre, sit down for four, breathe, two more, and our last one. Excellent, coming into the balance to finish off the standing sequence, you're going to blow that leg forward, slide it back. So you keep that leg out to the side, because this actually is a side kick. And you're going to give me one more. And you're going to hold it back there. Brilliant. Four and three. Two and one. Hands come down. Lift up. Other side. That might have if I wasn't standing on my mat. Two more times. <laughs> Go on one more time. Now leave that leg back for four, three, two, and one, and circle. Excellent. Shoulders back and down, back and down. Two more. Now we're going to take a big step back. Are you ready? We're going to roll down. We're going to go for a walk. We're going to come into high plank. Please make sure the hands are under your shoulders. Shoulder blades are nice and wide across the back. Keep that crown of that head lifted. We're going to go one knee, two knee, up, up. So I want you to work through your feet. So through the big toes. Stay strong.
Let's do a little shimmy to the right. A little shimmy to the left. Come back into centre. Now wiggle those knees out. See if we can get a little bit lower. Same again. Shift to one side. Shift to the other side. Come back to centre. So coming on to the side. Elbow underneath the shoulder. Knee stacked, ankle stacked. Lift away this underneath rib. You're going side, lifting for four. Up and down. Up and down. Two more times. Halfway. Last four. Lift out the shoulder. Make it so it flows up. Slow down. Kiss the floor with that underneath hip. One more time. Now take a hold. Bring the hand back here. Keep that chest nice and wide and open. Pull in through that belly. Keep those hips pushing up. And see if you can extend that under the bottom leg. Lift it and hold. Are you ready? Two kicks if it's okay to do so. One and two and back. One and two, back. Keep lifted on that underneath. One more time. Hold it there. Take away the arm and lengthen that whole body. Lift up that shoulder. For four, three, two. Front plank on your elbows, on your knees. Hold those toes down. Lift up through those shoulder blades. Pulling in through that belly. Tuck those toes under. Take away one knee. Take away two knees. Keep those shoulders nice and wide across the upper back. Draw in through that belly. Hold it there. One knee down. Two knees down. And release back into that lovely prayer stretch one more time which should feel a bit easier this time because we've already been in it once shimmy one side across to the other side open the knees sit right back now we should be a little bit lower here side to side and then you're going to come round onto that other side I'm just going to quickly swivel around elbow under Shoulder, lift it. Knee stacked, ankle stacked. Are we ready to lift out? Here we go. Up and down. Up. Two more, then we're halfway. straight legs you could do for the advanced position or you can stay with me with those lovely bent knees lifting out of that rib lifting out of that hip two more times one more time hold it there bring that hand by that ear top leg slide lift it here we go Nice single kick, two more, one more, hold the leg slightly back, open that hip, lift underneath, breathe, breathe, in and out, beautiful, let's go there, we're now supine on our back, it's a bridge to start with, hands flat on the floor, Shoulders flat on the floor. Walk your feet in nice and close to your bum. So you go. Lift, squeeze and down. So straight up lift. Squeeze that bottom. If you've got an elastic band and 
you want to resist, put it around your legs when you replay this video back. Four of them. Three of them. Two more. Now I want you to hold up in the bridge. We're going to lift one heel off the floor. Put that heel down, breathe out, lift the other heel. Breathe out, down, two more. One more. Now lift both heels if it's okay, and you're going to get cramped in those hamstrings. Hold it there. Make this a roll. Take both arms over the top. Roll the upper back, down. Bring the arms over, bring the heels down. Lift and give me eight and seven. Tap those knees. Four, three, two and hold. Let's do that again. Roll down, up to bridge, on the shoulder blades, lift one heel, lift two heels, arms over, roll through the spine, bring those heels down, lift that head, eight taps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and lower. Bring in those knees. Excellent. Close that lower back into the floor. Now take both knees to one direction. There's that little turn, rotation through the lumbar spine. Centre, take both knees to the other. And centre. Brilliant. Next time, we're going to start using the waist. So you're going to put those hands by those ears. Elbows on the floor. Now I'd like you to take one leg away. So we're in a one leg stretch. Now bring the opposite elbow to knee and hold. Four and three, two, let's go. One and two. Three and four. One and two. We've got a lovely crisscross. Keep it going. Keep those elbows back. Keep that little gap under the chin. Four of them. Three of them. Two of them, and one of them, come in, come down, excellent, next one to add, hands down, you're going to give me toes down, close that spine, toes up, lift, toes down, toes up, lift. So there's a lovely little rollover. Keep the head and shoulders on the floor. Relax those arms and don't use the hands to push into the floor. Use your tummy to lift your bottom. Now we can make this into more of a pipe if you want to. So we start to lift towards the ceiling and make that move a little bit bigger. We try and get our toes up on the ceiling. Up they go. Up they go. Four of them. Three of them. Two of them. And one more. And hold down. Yay! Take one 
leg out, followed by the other leg. In here, I want to put a full stretch from the top of your head over the arms, down through the body, through the feet. And then I want you to draw your rib cage down, lift your head, and bring your arms over. Lovely, so rolling up to this position, nice flat tummy, bring those toes towards you, and then roll back into the floor. So again, notice that we don't want this, we want to get that lumbar spine down, we want the ribs drawing down, we want to lift up, toes come up. And then we want to breathe in, go down. Excellent, keep this going. So a lovely little roll up, roll it back into the floor. If you wanted to cross your ankles, roll up, roll down. Roll it up, and down, cross them the other way, two more, let's go, roll it up, draw up through those thigh bones, and one more. And down, well done, bring those legs into that body, take that lumbar spine, close it into the Give it a little wiggle and a little circle round and round. And we're going to do a little bit of work here on the backs of those legs. Put one foot on the floor. I want you to lift the other leg to the ceiling with the help of those hands. Then I want you to lift that head up, bring that chest up. I want you to walk back down. Take that one down, bring the other one in. Walk up that leg, breathe out, lift that head, bring that chest up. Walk back down. Now take one leg all the way out, bring the other one in. Same again for me, but with that straight leg, if that's okay. Here they go. Now from here, come down, walk that leg across, take that little lift over the body, open up around that lower back. So you're going to keep your chest looking up to the ceiling, you're going to hold this leg across the body, open around the bottom and the lumbar spine, and then I want you to bring it in. Take that one out, bring the other one in. So with that leg all the way down, push through the leg, walk up, and lift into that hamstring stretch. Now come down with that leg, bring it across the body. Now I need to bend mine a little bit so I'm too near the wall. But you've got to cross, lift through the waist, Lumbar spine, outside leg. Then come back. Then I want to bring these two legs in. I want those knees turned out. And we're in that nice inside leg position, holding through the stretch there. Close that spine, breathe out and lift up. Pull that belly button in. Come down, then come into a rock position, sitting up, and we're going to do some nice rolling. So really go through the spine. If you don't like the rolling, I'm going to show you what to do first. So if you don't want to roll backwards, I want you to do a nice tricep dip move, where you put your hands towards your bottom, you get your shoulders. 
shoulders nice and fat, they are open at the front here. You keep your back straight and you bend your elbows and you straighten them. So that is anybody that doesn't like rolling or anybody that has any back issues. Everyone else, I want you to roll onto those elbows and roll back up through. So you're rolling through the elbows, onto the shoulders, onto the upper back, coming back again. So it's either a press up, a tricep dip, or it's rolling. Two more. And one more. Then we're going to take away the arms for those of you that want to. Those of you that are not too keen, keep your arms behind you. So you're going to breathe out, make that C shape. Breathe in, come back. If you make it back, have another go. Lovely. Now I want you to be really nice and light so we're not slapping the floor when you come back up. Yeah? Two more times. One to go. Lovely. Now take away these feet for the last challenge. Lift that foot. Lift this foot without falling back. Stay in this position, we're going to exhale, tuck the pelvis under, inhale, come back, and hold. So we don't want to put those feet on the floor. Two more times, here we go, breathe out, breathe in, and our last one, rolling like a ball, breathe out, and breathe in. Yay, well done. Pop those legs out. Sit up through those sitting bones. Open those legs. Now you may need to bend them if you're quite tight in the backs of those legs. I just want to think about keeping that posture and we're just going to add a nice spine twist in here. Arms out to the side. Turn those palms inwards and get your shoulders down away from your ears. So pull up through that lovely tall posture. As you breathe out, you go to one side. Keep those arms to the side. As you breathe in, you come to the middle. You breathe out to the side. You breathe into the middle. And if I come forward, I won't be too close to that wall. Now we're gonna start to think about Washing that air out of those lungs as we turn. So breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Two more. And one more. Hold it there. Now into the sore. Exhale, reach across to your toe, keep your bottom down. Inhale, come back. Exhale, reach across to the little toe, keep your bottom down. Inhale, come back. It's called the saw. You saw the little toe off and you come back. Aiming for the little toe keeping your sitting bones on the floor. One more then. Come into the middle and take that diamond shape with those legs. Rest those hands on those legs, get those shoulders back and I want you to take a lovely breath in. Turn your head one way. Breathe into centre. Turn your head the other way. Back into centre. 
Look down at the floor, into the top of that neck there. Then lift it back to centre. Scoop up through that lower belly, lift that pelvic floor muscle up. Take one arm over, bring that elbow into the body, keep your bottom on the floor. Then just take a little forward, make a rainbow across the floor. Elbow in, the other arm goes up and over, keep your bottom down. Bring that chest down, make a lovely half rainbow. Then scoop up both together. Bring those legs in, bring those hands in. Now I just want you to come round onto your hands, onto your knees. Take a lovely stretch from the shoulder on one side. Take the hand behind the other hand. Lower the elbow to the floor. And I want you to slowly look for that opposite direction. Take it a little bit closer in with the elbow if you want to. Just stretch out the shoulder blade, pulling that tummy. Come centre. Other side, hand goes behind, elbow goes under. How far you can go is up to you. Just stretching out the shoulder. Excellent. Now from here, tuck that tailbone under. Make that lovely cat stretch. Relax those toes. And relax, bring those hands in. Now you're coming to a kneeling position facing me and I'm facing you. Take one leg forward. See the toe first, then the knee. And I want to stretch out your hip. So now take your hip into the floor, hold there. Now I'm going to go at a diagonal because you'll see me a little bit better. We're in this position here. Now keep that foot on the floor. You've got that stretch through the front of that hip. Hold it there. Pull up through the belly. Now bring this chest down. Hands, fingertips only. Tuck that back toe under when you feel ready. Breathe out, lift that back knee if that's okay to do so. Open across the top of the back. Lovely wide position across those shoulder blades. Keep that head lifted. Keep that belly button pulling in. Now bring one knee down. I'm coming back to you, kneeling. I'm just going to change to this position. One leg forward, sit toe first, then it's the hip into the floor. Be careful not to arch that back, pull in through that tummy. Hold that nice stretch through that hip, lengthen that spine, come down, fingertips only. Breathe out, lift that back knee. Open up those shoulders, squeeze that belly. Now one knee down, bring that other knee back. Toes under, lift those knees, hands walk in. Now we're going to roll up against the wall. Bring those shoulders up, back and down. I'm going to move a little bit closer to you guys. Take a nice breath in. And out. Now I just want to stretch out, mostly in this area here, through the lower back on one side. So a step behind, bring the arm over, bring this arm down. So I want you to feel as if you're pushing your hip out that way. Hold it there. Now, look to the ceiling and try and open it a little bit. Whoa. A little bit stronger, higher up. Come back. Get your balance. The other leg goes behind. Whoops, a bit wobbly. Take the arm over. I want you to press that hip outwards. This arm down. Now take a little look up there. Whoa. Good work, come back to centre, come down. Take a lovely bent knee, breathe in. Bring those hands together, breathe out. Take your little bow, and well done. Excellent.
Excellent. Any questions, any comments, just pop them down. I'll get back to you. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you all soon. Bye for now. Take care.